I knew those things had a purpose. What's happening? Imagine a sword that can slay gods. Its name is Gramr. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge grammar by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer but the angry dwarves cursed it it would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king let me tell you about the sword tierving I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Wait, what the fuck? Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. We have no it's pretty obvious that I need to follow those flags, so I'm gonna go this way and see what's over here. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then ah. comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. So then, am I looking for Grom, or am I looking for Tyrvin? God, like, I... It's it's funny, because most games, I like, they give you, like, a very clear objective. You know, it's very linear, and you just, you go, you put the objective, and you get experience, or whatever. You know, everything's really straightforward. This game, I'm just... I'm just here for the ride. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just along for the ride. That's it. Yeah, I technically control her and I can fight and everything, but I was checking to see if there's anything over here, but I don't see nothing over here, so. Um, but I feel like I'm just along for the ride. It's crazy. Trials, like when we first met, remember? Okay, I can't run, so. Can I like this? Yes, I can. Yes, finally. 
found you. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. This is really killing me that I can't walk faster than this. I'll find him. Let's go. Let's go this way. Chill. I can hear him. Hera disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. Listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. I think that's him. Keep going. Send one. Follow the voice. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. Hey, look, a sword. Can I not take one of those? This is not fucking terrifying at all. Yeah, how about we go this way? Shit. 
I don't want to go through here. What the fuck is going on? Dying wants me to face my fears. Escaped. What? Why would you? I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Oh, okay. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Guys, there's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. It's not going to be easy. Can you do another one? It's too much. Have you been told? She hasn't got the energy. No. Too much to do. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Don't go near it. Don't go there. Don't go too close.
Okay, so I gotta do the nice way. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. The fix is wow. bridge. Bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. That's barred. And then Yep, that's so. Oh man, I missed two. I missed two freaking runes. Oh, that's so annoying. That annoys me because I really wanted to hear that story. <sighs> Damn it. Oh well. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. I'm, so all this lore is freaking awesome. This, this whole game is just been, it's just, it's different. It has been a very good and very different experience in my opinion. I, it's, it's just, it's just good. It's just good. I wonder if I have to move the mask again. Yeah, I think I do. I didn't even look for it, came down uh, to see if this game was open. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Okay, Go so it is open. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. <laughs> Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through the door before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. He's Where is he? Where has he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other he world. He's in the other world. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glue. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. Okay, 
now I bet you knew that I can get the center in the dark world. Let's see, because that's backwards. I bet you I can. You can't go up there. Yep. Not in this world. Yep, exactly. Okay, okay. You can't. Do you remember the way he stroked your hair? Do you remember? Still can't get through the main door, but now I can go around through this other gate. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely, we're making our way. Make our way, dun dun. Walking past, walking past. Why didn't she listen to me? She thought she could do me. Fuck. So how do I get this thing? Must be a way. He was kind. You get it from inside. See, it's okay. Wait a minute, they're going up, not down. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm, I think I was looking at the wrong thing. Because I thought it was the hole in the wall. I think I was wrong. She thought she had light within her. She is pure. There we go. Bam. Senwa. You've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you. you Bam. Now I can go. It doesn't make sense. It's precious to you. The gods feast and rejoice, and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman, and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear.
You are guilty. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? You are guilty. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. <laughs>